Sometimes I shave my legs and sometimes I don't Sometimes I comb my hair and sometimes I won't Depending on how the wind blows, I might even pay my toll It really just depends on whatever feels good in my soul my channel you guys i cannot believe we are doing our seven month update you guys this journey feels like it is flying by here comes raven so let's all stop for a dramatic pause and say hello hi raven i want to watch pj Masks cat you want to watch pj mask cat okay i'm gonna go turn on her pj mask and we're gonna get back to that intro as I was saying, you guys, time is flying by. I am doing my seven month update. As I said, I'm super geeked about it. You guys, I was looking at some of my old pictures and the hair just has grown and just has flourished. And I am just loving every bit of this journey now. Wasn't always like that. But I'm loving the way that they are looking. Now this look I have right now is clearly from a braid out and I missed it with a little bit of water to try to bring my natural curls back. But babes, y'all, they are looking like a lock. Look at this. Look, let's get a couple, you know, let's look at a few of you. Look, oh, I love them. They just doing a wonderful job. Nothing new, you guys. Nothing really new, except I love the way they're looking. Uh, Pretty Cautious Me, I think that's her name. Again, if it's not right, I'll put it on the screen. But she was talking about, I was watching her update, and she was talking about how they are starting to look like locks and not like the little braids. Anybody who has started this sister like journey knows exactly what she was talking about, because I did, when she was referring to them looking like little braids. But yes, that phase is over. I love the way they look, feel, and move. And I'm, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I feel like I can feel them on my head now. Like, what am I trying to say? Like, I can feel the weight of them, even though they're not heavy. But I guess it's probably because of the length of them now. You know, and if you guys didn't see how short I was when I started, make sure to check that out because we was in the itty bitty, tiny bitty, sister lot committee, whatever. But, you know, we still short or whatever, but this is just, still a lot longer at least mm, I could easily say about three times the length it looked when I first started at least half so anyways that is great no problems with any slippage like I said in my last update I'm I'm past that I forgot to ask my consultant about when I would be able to shampoo it or braid and banding she didn't say it willingly so I'm going to assume that means I need to continue to braid and thing in and if you guys didn't check out my last braiding van video, check it out because we were talking about sis locks and fashion and clothes and whatnot. Check it out if you haven't already. But anyway, you know, if you got a braiding van, check out those braiding van videos, guys. That's what I make them for so y'all have something to watch while you're braiding banding. Although I understand just now that I said that, that y'all could absolutely find something probably more entertaining to watch while you're braiding banding. But humor me, okay? Anywho, so besides everything looking fabulous, me being happy about it, enjoying this journey, I have nothing new, you guys. I, I, um, when I shampooed it again this time, I used, um, what am I trying to say? The detoxifying shampoo mixed with a little bit of the sister lock shampoo. That seems to be working fine for me, so I'm going to just stick with that. I'm trying to keep incorporating the sister lock shampoo because I've heard that it is, like, 
it has a locking agent. It helps you lock your hair. So, you know, I'm trying to be obedient, but I will never fully just use the Sunstock shampoo anymore. The starter shampoo anyway, because of the flakes. I can't stop messing with them. I love it so much. Like you guys, I love it so much. If you can't tell, I love it so much. If you think about starting this journey, <laughs> hear me. I love this journey and I believe that you'll love it just as much if you're thinking about starting. If you're on this journey and you are loving it, y'all always share that love in the, um, comment sections about how much y'all love y'all journey and how y'all can relate to a lot of the things I share with share or talk about in my videos. Thank you guys so much. I best thing ever. I say it over and over again and I don't want to sound like a broken record. Best thing ever. I'm gonna take these off y'all. I can't see because I got no contacts in but them glasses is too big and my lashes is too long and it ain't working. They not a good combination so I'm gonna remove them. But um, this has really been the best thing I did. So if you're watching my video and you have, are thinking about starting your sister life journey, honey, it is the best decision I ever made for myself and my hair, for my confidence, you guys. This, oh, I'm so sick of me, but I'm lying. No, I'm not. I love my hair so much. And I've never been in a mirror where I admire my hair. Like I look at my hair more then I'm looking at my, you know, my actual self. Like, I love my hair, especially after a retie. We got a retie today. So, um, this is pretty fresh. Probably I just left her maybe a few hours ago. And I'm rushing through this video because I need to take my oldest baby to swim. But I want to get this out of the way because I like to really try to do the update videos the day of. Now, I was going to share what I was looking like before I went in. But if you watch my previous Brady family video you you already saw that hot mess okay y'all don't need to see it again so I ain't worried about that but I'm loving this journey I love my consultant oh one thing I did want to touch in this video uh someone comment I comment back to her anyway but someone had commented about how I got the ends curly you guys I honestly think let me see if I can get one closer it is okay let me find it okay so like right here this Everything on this side of my two fingers is not sister locked, as you can see. Like, that is just a clump of a curl. And then the lock starts about right there. And I think that's partly why the ends look curly, in case anyone else was wondering about it. Um, I don't know if that is the work of my hair not being installed properly, or if it's the work of the slippage I had early on because I was using too much water on my hair and that the end parts that were tightened, if you hear my yeah, two like Thank you, Raven. You wanna show them what you got? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Raven has a toy. Yay, you show them? <laughs> Yay! Okay, can mama finish the video now? So we can take Sissy to swim? All right, see you later. Go show yeah. Sissy. Okay. Sorry, if I didn't do it, she wasn't gonna go away. So anyway, so like I'm saying, I don't know if that's just how my hair was gonna do anyway, if that is the result of the slippage I had because I used too much water in the beginning because I was having a lot of slippage um, out on the ends, not necessarily at the scalp, apart from on the hairline, I had a couple come all the way out. But other than that, it was just um, towards the end. So I'm thinking it's either how she just installed them. She never went all the way to the end. I watched one video. I can't remember her name. And if I can, I'll link her in the description down below, or I'll put her on the screen. If I don't forget editing here, don't forget, but she said that they should be started when you get them installed, they should be locked all the way to your ends. Now that's what she said. Or she said that they should get fairly close. She, I guess she wasn't saying like it was wrong. It was just she was, and her, her preference was that her hair be locked all the way to the ends. Um, and that if they don't really lock them all the way to the ends, they kind of cheat you when they start them. I don't really know. Again, I always say this. I've never researched sister locks truly. I just looked at them at different stages, meaning I looked at them when they were short, medium length, and really long. And that's kind of how I made my decision based on how they progressed and um if how i felt about the look of them and i fell in love with them but i didn't research like how they should be installed someone asked me about rotation once i don't know about rotation i didn't know anything about braiding and banding before i got sister locked i didn't know about starter shampoo i didn't know anything you know and i'm still learning so much so i always tell you guys please use the comment section down below because i do read each and every one of you guys comments while we're small but we passed 500 though but we passed 500 though okay anyway all right y'all we're gonna talk about that in another video but i'm super geek thank y'all so much for subscribing i mean we 
Thank y'all. So anyway, um, I get to read all of y'all comments. So if y'all have any tips and tricks, share them down below. And let me know what you guys think about the ends. Like, do you prefer yours to be locked all the way to the end? Is there a proper way? Did I get cheated? But even if I did, I'm not gonna lie. I would not, I wouldn't change a thing about my locks. I'm not gonna lie. So whether they should be, cause when I first watched this video, I was like, dang, why is it all the way to the ends? But I actually love them like this. If that's the reason why I have my curls or whatever, let's curls for the girls. Let's see if we can see them. I love them. So <laughs> cheat me. <No. laughs> Ooh, let me stop. Okay, I'm, I'm having a little too much fun. But anyway, I do love them. So even if they should have been started, you know, like all the way to the ends, I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I don't care. I don't care. And if I'm honest, since I love them so much, I'm happy they are the way they are. And this could have been just what they were going to do anyway. I don't know. But someone had asked me. I just wanted to address that in case any of you guys were curious. I don't know anything about rotation. I always forget to ask her because low-key, I don't really care. But I am curious to find out what it is. So I will be sure to ask her. Um, I just, it's not top priority. But anyway, you guys, I think that is everything. Make sure that I am not forgetting nothing. Because I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's everything I want to let y'all know. Oh, did I just put some bars? <laughs> let me stop. I'm having a little too much fun. But anyway, you guys, I love you all. I hope that this was informative. If you have any more questions, please use the comment section. I will read it. I will respond back to you. I'm not lying. If you are here and you are not subscribed, baby, uh, stop playing with me. No, I'm <laughs> please subscribe. I would love to have you here. Um, I can't grow my channel without you and everybody that has done it. Y'all see how hyped I am about passing 500. Thank y'all so much. And I, you know, on the journey, it just gets better from here. And I believe that with all of you to come aboard, all of you to share, all of you like, all of you to comment, y'all are everything. I love y'all so much. Y'all have made this journey so much more easier. So if you are a person thinking about starting your sister lock journey, just know the sister lock journey is a beautiful community. You beautiful black queens are everything. Y'all have made my awkward moments, my uncertainty, my insecure moments, my vulnerable moments. Y'all made them all very, very enjoyable with the way you guys come and respond to me, the encouraging words y'all give me, the advice y'all give me, the tips and tricks y'all share. Like this is a much easier journey. I said this on my Braden Van video or something along the lines of this, but the reality is I truly, truly, truly don't know how I would have gotten through this journey as smooth as I have without you guys. I'm so glad I decided to document this. I didn't even plan on using my sister life journey on my channel. I did not. You guys, like, it was really me doing a vlog. I was in, you know, trying to do vlogs and I vlogged a little bit about it and uh, I just noticed that the video got like a lot of views and so I was it kind of threw me off because I was still very small so when you know when you're starting out with like a hundred and some subscribers and you got a video that you put up and you get like 900 views or something you're like whoa what's going on and it really that's how it happened to me and it made me take notice like I was not sharing this intending to um document my journey but I'm so glad that I did because I wouldn't have met so many of you guys I wouldn't have learned the things that I did I wouldn't be as comfortable as I am maybe I would be at this point but it the journey hasn't always been smooth and I'll let you guys know that for those of you who are thinking about starting the journey's not always smooth sometimes you love your hair sometimes you're gonna wonder if should I have done this? Was this worth it? I had so many thoughts in my mind when I started my journey. But steer the course. Know what you know. Know who you are. Know what you want. And regardless of if it being uncomfortable, don't run away. Don't give up. Stick in there. You know, like I said, trust this process because, I mean, just to be seven months in, I can't wait for 14 months in. You know, it's just been such a wonderful experience. A full transformation, transformation from inside out. Truly, it has for me, and I've shared all of that. I kind of be, I try to be extremely, you know, open with you guys and straight with you guys. The more comfortable I get, the more, you know, more easy it is for me to share with you guys what I'm dealing with and what I'm going through. I'm so glad that I have the courage to do it because I wouldn't have met you and reached so many of you, and you guys wouldn't have been able to reach me the way that you have. So I truly thank you guys. When I put the little prayer hands, like y'all, I really thank y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all been amazing. I gotta get out of here. I gotta take my daughter to swim, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I love y'all that much. And I like doing it when it's fresh, 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 or whatever. It's fresh. Hey, hey. Okay, I'm gonna go.
go, go, sorry. But guys, stay blessed, stay motivated, stay close to God. Remember, God loves you. He doesn't want to trick you. He never wants to hurt you. He cares for you. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Happy Sister Lock journeying to all of my Sister Lock kids. And y'all who ain't got no lock in y'all life, maybe girl, jump on the Sister Lock train because we ain't slowing down. No, I will talk to y'all later. Bye, you guys. I'd rather have a pretty piece of crystal Don't need your silicone I prefer my own What God gave me is just fine